Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick demonstration showing you to find the character table of S3. So to do this you need to know two things. You need to know the conjugacy classes of S3 and you need to know the irreducible representations. As with all symmetric groups, the conjugacy classes are determined by the cycle shapes. So there are the only cycle shapes you have in S3 are one, two cycles, and three cycles. This is just an elementary fact um, of group theory that you can only whenever you conjugate a cycle, you can't change its its shape. It's always going to be the same. Okay, irreducible representations of S3. First notice that S3 is isomorphic to D6. And D6 has presentation of X rotations and Y reflections with the property that X cubed equals Y squared equals E. And y, x, y inverse is x inverse. Um, so now what we need to do is define our representations on these two generators. So first representation we've got is, as always, the trivial, um, which sends x to 1 and y to 1. Then you've got the sine representation, which sends x to 1 and y to minus 1. You'll notice at least agree with the relations up here. Uh, you're cubing them, you get the identity. Squaring these, you get the identity. And these are both one-dimensional representations. And now there's just one more irreducible representation of S3. Which is the geometric. This is a two-dimensional representation. This is defined on the two elements as follows. Rho x given by omega 0 0 omega squared where omega is e to the 2 pi i by 3 cube root of unity and on the reflection we just get 0 1 1 0 again you'll notice that these um, representations satisfy the relations uh, given the presentation of D6. Alright, now obviously we want to know what happens to our cycle to our conjugacy classes, which are cycle shapes, they weren't rotations or reflections. So we want to know what happens, what the trivial representation does to, a, to the two cycle and to the three cycle. Well, here you just have to remember that the two cycle in S3 is like a reflection in D6. So row, let's call it row sub t of the two cycle does, well it's a trivial one so it's going to be equal to 1, but this is what row sub t would have done to y, the, um, the reflection. And row sub t of 1, 2, 3, the 3 cycle, well that's also 1. Now, as for the sine representation, row s of the 2 cycle, you remember um, the sine representation sent, did the, sent the reflection to minus 1, and it sent the rotation, which is the 3 cycle, to 1. And but the slightly more interesting case is for the geometric representation. So, Rho G of the 2 cycle is just what we had in the reflection, like this. 
Um, and that's going to have trace, which is the sum of the, the major diagonal, going to be 0. And rho g of the rotation, which is the 3 cycle, is given by omega 0, 0, omega squared, which has trace omega plus omega squared. So I'll quickly show you what omega plus omega squared is. We'll call that omega equals e to the 2 pi i over 3. I'm not going to prove this. I'm just going to show you. These are our cube roots of 1, omega, omega squared. And I claim that the sum of omega and omega squared is minus 1. Um, but I'm just letting you know where that comes from. OK, now the final step is actually writing out our character table. So our columns are going to be the conjugacy classes. And our rows are going to be the representations. So that's the trib representation, then the sine representation, then the geometric representation. Remember, each of these entries is going to be the characters of the rep of the irreducible representations of these elements that we've just shown. So, trivia one's all very boring. Characters always just going to be one. Uh, the sine representation, again, these are just one-dimensional representations, so the trace is just the number. Um, just recall that that one is the identity element, so. It's just one. Um, and in, in the one-dimensional cases, it's just the number one. In the two-dimensional cases, it's the identity it's the identity matrix, which is, as you know, one, zero, zero, one. And so it has trace equal to two. So that's trace equal to two. Then rho g sent the two cycle to, to this matrix, zero, Zero, which has trace equal to zero. That in, and the final step, slightly out of place, is Roji sent the rotation to that matrix. So we just sort of showed it, and the trace of that matrix is omega plus omega squared, which, as we just said. It's minus one. So that's the character table for S3 and D6. So I hope at least some of what I said was useful. If you've got any questions about this or anything relating to this, uh, write something in the comments section. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching.